Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review, this time from Yubi. Now this here is a jump starter and air compressor all in one. Now I was sent this by the company directly, they wanted me to test and review this product of theirs comes in this box. Now according to this, this is a 2000 amp and 150 pound PSI compressor. Now according to this, it's the X5 model. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. Now they do sell these on their Amazon store. Nice molded case here. It does have some flexibility to it. I really like them when they come in their own case so you can easily transport it and store it away safely so nothing happens to it. This is a complete kit so it comes with everything you need. Now here's the unit still in the plastic and it's pretty snug in there. Take that out in just a minute. Let's go over this other stuff here. And because it's an air compressor, it does include a tire nozzle here. So you'll be able to air up your tires with. And I like the quick release versus the screw-on ones. The USB Type-C charging cable. Here's the additional adapters. So if you want to air up a basketball or maybe an inner tube of some sort or a blow-up item. And here are the jumper cables. They're on the short side. Clips feel pretty good. I'm not seeing anything here. Cable looks pretty thick. Not too sure what it is. Feels pretty thick on there. no display here on this unit so it must all be on the actual unit itself. Here's the user manual. Now according to their website or to their Amazon page it recommends to not run it more than eight minutes at a time so if we do to shut it off for a few minutes to let it cool off which is pretty standard on these portable units nice case it is padded here got a liner on the inside padded a little storage pouch here definitely something that I would be using myself I really like having these air compressors in my vehicle, especially when you're just topping off your your tires, really saves you from having to go to the gas station. You can just pull over and do it yourself, or do it at your house. There's the unit. Pretty good size. It's got some weight to it. Take a look here at the specs there on the bottom. Now I like that this has little grooves here so you can transport it a lot easier being able to hold those to grip it. There's the charging output port so you use it as a power bank. 
that's for the air compressor where the hose goes in that's the charging port this is the flashlight that's built into now it says 5 volt 9 volt and 12 volt so that's a nice high output rapid charger this is an ABS plastic you can see the vents here and see down inside for the compressor to allow it to breathe. See some more here on the other side. The vent area. I'm not seeing any kind of feet or anything here on the bottom. That way when you set it down, it wouldn't be vibrating all around. Maybe something you could add on there yourself. Here's the port for your jumper cables. Goes in there. And it looks like you have the power button here. Your confirmation OK. Set up and down. So let's go ahead, I don't see no toggle switch or anything on here, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Wow, that is a large display on there. Shows it's fully charged right out of the box. It's on vehicle, so if you want to set it, you can change that to different tire pressure and then they blink for which one you want to change and at that time you can change it to bicycle that's bicycle and it shows a basketball there car motorcycle bicycle and your sport equipment there so you can set this PSI you can change it to whatever you use in your country I'm going to use it on PSI and then when it blinks of course you can set the maximum air pressure that you want it to shut off at and on my uh, vehicle it's a uh, low profile tire so it's 36 pounds now let's see how do we turn on the light I think the light turns on here by pressing and holding on the power button. That's probably about 30 lumens. It's not a real large amount. Definitely nice enough to be able to see what you're doing in the dark. You got the real fast SOS. got more of a flash kind of a slow strobe and then that turns it off all right well now let's go ahead and uh, see if we can turn on the air compressor here screw this in so it'll be a lot quieter Now I wish that these things had like a screw, um, like a bolt area here where you could just screw it in without having to have to turn the whole, you know, hose here without hitting my camera. It's a lot easier when you're doing it without having to worry about hitting. There we go goes pretty tight now that we have that on there let's go ahead and turn it back on and it's blinking 36 that's what we want it on now you're gonna press and hold OK it's gonna come on pretty loud so it's pretty loud it's kind of holding up against the 
the tube there to kind of see if it back down. A lot of times if you hold it tight enough it'll shut it off. So let's do it again here. Yeah, so that's shut off. So that's nice. So it's going to be pretty accurate um, in shutting off when the right amount of tire pressure that you have program is achieved. Nice. So now we're going to go ahead and shut it off. Take all this out here. So that's pretty easy to operate this. Let me go ahead and uh, just do it this way. It's a lot easier. This is the way I do it when I'm not trying to hit my camera. And I'll put this over here. Now the jumper cables, of course, here I plug those in and uh, hook it up to your battery before turning on the unit. That prevents sparks from happening, so it keeps from explosions or fire from happening because sometimes a battery will be venting and a spark will ignite that. I'll definitely do a little video here of the light and then I'll test out the uh, air compressor on one of my tires. I might do a, do them all, top them off. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, head out there. We'll do the uh, flashlight here that's built into it and uh, see how that does. And then we'll take it outside and do a test on the tires on my vehicle and we'll bring it in for final thoughts. We are out here in the darkness of my garage with the UB air compressor jump starter all in one. We're going to go ahead and turn on the flashlight here. So it's going to provide you some basic light output here. It's not a lot, it is a little on the weak side, but it does pretty good. Especially if you have no light at all, this will do pretty good for most people. Especially changing a tire or airing up a tire, you can have this on at the same time. Not going to hurt it. And of course, you got the other special levels SOS. And you have a regular. Very slow strobe. And that's it. Okay, we're going to do a demonstration of this UB jump starter air compressor. Let's go ahead and get started here. And I really like this one hand air attachment. Put it on there one handed. Works great. So we're going to go ahead showing 30 pounds right now so we need 35 go ahead and try it out Hit the OK button And there we are. Nice, that was fast. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the demonstrations on this. Um, it did pretty good for the air compressor, uh, topping off. My tires were not flat, so really going to pull some really good duty from this. If your tire's completely flat, should have no problem doing it, but the battery is going to go down. After that, to maintain a sufficient amount of jump starting ability, they're saying to keep it at 50% or higher. So if it's at 50%, you're probably not going to be able to jump start a vehicle easily or at all. 
So anything above that, so you definitely want to keep this charged off. It's a good, good idea to check it every three months or so. Uh, I do it every two months. Uh, I haven't seen them drop off. Right at about six months, you'll start seeing 25% or less, especially during the summer. You'll see a little bit more drop off. Um, this here being 2,000 amps, you know, cold cranking amps, it's probably only about 800. So just give or take, the amps is not really what you want to rate it at. I uh, wish that these things would do cold cranking amps because that's really what matters most is when it's cold outside and the battery is, is dead, that's when you want to know how much this thing can really do. But the rule of thumb for the old lead acid batteries, it was a thousand cranking amps and then it was only 600 cold cranking amps. So just give or take, just minus that really 2000 amps is probably not what this is going to do. The built-in air compressor did good. I didn't see any issues with that. Now the light here on the top is a little on the weak side compared to some of the other ones I've tested in the past, but you don't really need that much light. If you're changing, you know, your tire, putting on a spare tire, if you're needing an emergency, you need this light to walk with, your car's broke down, or you need to look in your vehicle, could be anything, you've got it. It's gonna provide a, a decent amount of light but it's just not really as bright as some of the other ones I've seen. The USB port here being the higher out output, that's nice to be able to charge your device or cell phone more quickly. The display is very nice and large, easy to read from 10, 15 feet away with no issues. It's bright enough even during the day I didn't have any issues not being able to see it. Some of the ones that are red, I have, for some reason they're harder to read during the daytime. These ones here, or the ones that are yellow or amber, you see them a little bit better during the daytime. So the jump starter I did not test out. Uh, I will, uh, believe it or not, I use these uh, for Good Samaritan. A lot of people you know, that we've come across. I'm like, hey, I've got a jumper. We don't need no cables. So that's how I try them out. Um, they are very nice. A lot easier to carry one of these around versus the big old giant Stanley that I have. But I have since converted that to the LifePo battery. So it's just super lightweight. So I kept it um, super rugged on that one as well. So I don't see any issues with this. Like I said, only time will tell how long these will last. The lithium batteries are way better to have than the lead acid batteries because they just generally, unless you're charging them all the time, they're just not going to keep the life for longer than two or three years at the max. So these here last a lot longer. Lithium cells have been doing, I've been working with them since 2005, so it's nice to see them coming out with this technology. And the air compressor, like I said, great for topping off your tires in an emergency. You can air your tire up from flat, but it is going to take a little while. Just let you know that. All right. Well, I want to thank Yubi for sending me this air compressor jump starter combo. If this is something you are interested in getting, I will leave a link down in the description where you can get this. I'm also working on a special discount code. If I do get that, that'll be there with it. That'll hopefully help you save some money on this, just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Every little bit helps. Otherwise, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these air compressors, jump starters from UB to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside and see how it does in the wilderness.